Hi everyone, my name is Evans and I am the founder of the Music Box record label. I wanted to do a short music video, it's basically a short film to strengthen, motivate and encourage those who are battling their own struggles, their own inner demons to help them to overcome them. Uh, to see that at times we may think that the best solution is to end it all. But this video is to encourage you to keep your light shining. The end is not the beginning. I need an ambulance. I have you at 9212 West 3rd Street in Los Angeles. That's room number two. What's the emergency? There's been a suicide. Who's the victim? I am. <sighs> Today I just found out that I'm worthless. It's like, it's hopeless. It isn't going to get any better. No matter where I turn, there's no escape. The suffering is unbearable. And I'm absolutely no use whatsoever to anyone. It would be better for everyone if I was just gone. Everywhere I look, it's nothing but catastrophe. And there's n I can't see any way out of it. I, I can't see any path forward whatsoever. You are nothing. You are nobody. You don't even deserve to live. You constantly are told that you're not pretty enough and not tall enough and not skinny enough and people are better. And when you're young, you think that means I'm not good enough as a person. Ah, uh, you know, black, white. I'm here, you're there, I'm this, you're that. Anytime you have a name, anytime you have a label, you have an inherent division. And the division inherently causes conflict. And the conflict will inevitably cause wars. We're taught to endure. We're not taught to say habla con todos or to speak with everyone or to share what's going on with you or to talk to me about your life. If you had heart problems and saw a cardiologist, well, everyone would be concerned about you and know you're doing better and it would be open and honest with the crew, anybody you no work stigma, with. Not yeah, weird. but the most complicated organ in your body, if you have a problem with this, suddenly there's a, we don't want to talk about that? No, and you can get over it. And that's what people need to realize. You can be cured, you can get past it. That's what we need to, need to realize. If you have depression, if you have anxiety, if you have post-traumatic stress disorder, if you have any kind of mental health condition, it's nothing to be ashamed of and it's nothing to hide and it's something to hit head on with. And I don't think there's anything wrong with having a mental health issue, either with yourself or with somebody that you love. You know, if you're going through a divorce right now, if you're going through a financial problem right now, if you're going through an illness right now, if you are going through any form of crisis right now. And so I want to share with you, you know, I've gone through a divorce and I've gone through some very painful times. And during those times, they were messy. And during those times, I got off my game at times. And during those times, I was confused. But more than anything else, during those times, I felt pain. Worst thing you can do is what society suggests that you do. Escape, get busy, forget about it, lose yourself in work. Of course you have to work, of course you have to show up. Your team needs you, life needs you, your family needs you. Life is for the living, I got it. But I don't believe that the answer to get through your pain is to escape in your pain. And too many people do that. And I've read the books that say to do that. You can't motivate yourself out of heartbreak. You've gotta feel yourself through the heartbreak. I mean, I think it's that old Alanis, uh, the, the, the old Alanis, Alanis Morissette song. The quickest way out is in. There are gifts in pain. There is glory in pain. That's how you develop the bravery. That's how you develop the humanity. Do not latch on to your, de your depression. Do not personally identify with your depression. See it as you see winter, and winter always leads to spring and summer again. See it as you see nighttime. Nighttime becomes daytime again. See it as you see the breaking down and the building up of your body, catabolic, anabolic. It is a process that's natural for 
spiritual evolution and physical evolution in the world. Um, there's one thing, one thing, that if you did every single day, no joke, it would make an extraordinary difference in whatever mental health issue you're struggling with, and that is exercise. Because you've got to exercise every day. And the reason you've got to exercise every day is because what we know about human beings is that when you physically move, your physiology changes, and that changes your brain. Getting your heart rate up, getting outside, breathing, feeling connected, getting out of your house, which may make you feel depressed and trapped. Doing that every day, that physical push. You don't have to run. You don't have to go to an aerobics class. Get outside with your dog in the woods. Walk with a good friend for two or three miles. Doing that every single day not only moves your body, which changes your mind, it gets you out of your physical environment, which is one of the things that people with depression tend to have a hard time doing. And it also creates a bit of momentum and a bit of a routine in your life. You take on just that single thing. Get outside and exercise every single day as if your life depends upon it. Because you know what? It does. Your brain needs it. Your body needs it. Your mental health needs it. Just cause you can't see it doesn't mean it isn't there. They say, who cares if one more light goes out in the sky of a million stars? It flickers, flickers. Who cares when someone's time runs out? If a moment is all we are Or quicker, quicker Who cares if one more light goes out? Well, I do Remind 
reminders pull the floor from your feet in the kitchen one more chair then you Not fair Just cause you can't see it Doesn't mean it isn't there If they say Who cares if one more light goes out In the sky of a million stars It flickers, flickers when someone's time runs out If a moment is all we are Or quicker, quicker Who cares if one more light goes out Well, I do Time runs out If a moment is all we are Or quicker, quicker Who cares if one more light goes out Well, I do Well, I do You got that gun in your hand, you got that knife, you got them pills. I need you to throw it all down. I need you to burn the ships of the past so you can focus on your beautiful future. I need you to stop covering pain with drugs because it's only like putting bricks on a shallow shelf. Eventually it's gonna fall back on you. You cannot cover it up forever. And I simply wanna tell you, keep going. I just wanna tell you today that you are amazing and that you are strong. I want you to know that you're not alone because I too fight these demons every day. See, many people don't know the pain of losing a parent. It's like literally losing a piece of your body, a piece of your soul, a piece of your heart, a piece of your mind. We miss the scent, we miss the, the smiles, we, we miss the jokes, we, we just miss them. And every day we gotta get up and pretend like we're happy. We gotta get up like everything's okay, but we're dying inside. And what these inner cities have created is we created babies that's burying their mothers and fathers before they become men and women. And they have no psychiatrists. They have no help. They have nobody that cares. So these poor babies must go on in the valley of life and fight without knowing the lessons, without knowing anything. They gotta keep going. And then they hit this pain this pain they never felt before. It's called mental depression. See, the scary thing about mental depression is you cannot see it. It is invisible. It shows up in people with beautiful smiles and it shows up in people with nice jobs and a regular life and you never know the battle that they're fighting inside. Life is long. Life is hard but it's worth it. See, I went through this. I had a beautiful dream that I finally had saved my mother. 
when I woke up, my uncle walked in the room and said, Will, your mother passed of a heroin overdose. My queen. The person I worked for my entire life. My heartbeat. It was gone. To tell you this, that I too felt that pain. I too felt that suicide. I too felt that mental depression. I once stood in a place with a gun to my head and said, I do not want to live anymore. My mother's gone. My father's nowhere to be found. Why should I live? But I got a whisper from God. And what God spoke was, he said, Will, don't do it. Your life is just getting started. When I heard this whisper, the clouds broke apart and the sun started to rise. As I started to cry, the sun started to drop my tears. It was almost as if God was saying, it's okay, my son. When I realized this very thing, that God did not punish me, he simply let a child that wasn't able to be a child live again. So when you see me, anywhere you see me, I'm doing this for something bigger than myself. I'm doing this for you. And for every child, woman, or man that lost somebody, I want you to look in the mirror today. I want you to say their names and I want you to repeat after me. Live through me. I need you to make sure that the world remembers the name. I need you to make sure you represent them well. And I need to make sure you understand this. Life is long. Life is hard, but it's worth it. It's worth it. Live. Come through.